Hi, Toano Middle School. This is part of the Information Literacy Learning video series. Today I'm going to talk to you about smart art. You may ask me, what in the world is smart art? Well, smart art is where you have some pre made shapes, graphics, that have been layered together with also text boxes, and they are grouped together in such a way to show relationships. This is very different from using the insert shapes command where you are inserting just a single shape and having to put a different shape and another shape and then uh, connecting arrows, bars, etc. Well, why not work smarter and faster and use what's right next door, SmartArt. If you take a look at SmartArt, they have all of these groupings pre-made for you. They have the text boxes inserted to describe each of the graphics. It is pretty cool. It is a graphics. It's a true graphics. Let me go ahead and I'm going to try something right here. I'm going to take the pyramid and notice I think I'm going to go ahead and just do the basic pyramid. It's going to come in pretty large. Notice that we have an area where you can insert your words. You can certainly insert it over here, but I find using this side over here a whole lot easier. If you take a look at this little arrow here next to the graphic, that turns that little insert pane on and off. So let me take a look here. We're going to start off here. Let's say for example at the very top I'm going to put this is my first level and then my second level. You can use words, sentences. It will automatically resize the writing. I need a fourth level. How do I get there? Simply click enter on your keyboard. So here's my fourth level and I need a fifth level. Pretty cool, isn't that? So I'm going to go ahead and close this little insert pane off. And it works just like a graphic. I can resize it and it will resize my letters for me as well. Let's say I don't particularly care for the basic blue. I can come up here and select some pre-made sizes. You can also come and click one level at a time and format the shape if you would like. I'd like to fill it up with a different color. Let's say a solid, uh, let's try a solid red to show differences in contrast if need be. The neat thing about this is it's pretty easy to get rid of if you make a mistake. Simply click on it, click on the little edge and delete. Let's do another one. Insert smart art and I'm going to find a Venn diagram. That's a popular graphic that is used. Pretty big, isn't it? I'm going to resize it so it's over to the side there. We can certainly work a little better. Remember what I said about using this little button right here? I'm going to click it and let's say for example your teacher wants you to write down your idea for A and your idea for B. And that's it. I've got one too many bubbles here in my Venn diagram. The easiest thing to do is to come right down here and hit simply backspace and it will resize everything for you. Pretty cool, isn't it? Now let's try it on the life cycle of a butterfly. You could if you wanted to in a PowerPoint, a Word document, you could just go ahead and type out the life cycle of a butterfly, egg, larva, chrysalis, and butterfly. But instead, let's add a little bit of smart art in. And in this case, it's a life cycle, so I'm going to go here to the cycles. And I think what I might do is I think I will probably use, let's just use this, this basic one right here. It's going to be huge again. I'm going to grab a little corner and drag it down. Touch the little arrow and the first part of the life cycle is an egg, larva, and then chrysalis, and then what else? It's the butterfly. Uh, we have one too many bubbles. What do we do? Simply click on it and backspace on it using your keyboard. 
let's say we want it to be a little larger, we can certainly resize it as needed, change the colors as well. But let's say, for example, that we would like to fill it up with a picture instead. Picture. And you can find a picture if you would like. I think I'm going to go online instead and find a picture. And I'm going to find it of a butterfly egg. Wow, there they are. I think I'm going to try this one. This is part of the Creative Commons, meaning that I can use it. Here's an egg. And let's see, here's a larva. Let's insert a picture again online. And let's see, I said larva. Well, that's a pretty one. It's also called a caterpillar, right? And let's try another picture. And this one's going to be a what? Um, a chrysalis. And then the last one. Put the picture in online. And in this case, my butterfly. Wow, that's a pretty one. And there it is. Life cycle of a butterfly using SmartArt.